social critic has attacked those who make comparisons between economic freedom fighters leader Julius Malima and African National Congress Youth League President Colin Malachi. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. The reviewer did not hold back when pointing out what he considered to be a notable difference in their capacities and accomplishments. To equate Julius Malima with ANCYL member Colin Malachi is a really foolish comparison. Hate Julius, but for real, the guy has established a strong organization, the critic said. Through the EFF, the leader of the Red Berets, who is well known for his venomous speeches and divisive political positions, has in fact become a powerful force in South African politics. His party has seen tremendous growth and is now a powerful force in the political system of the nation. His capacity to inspire and connect with a sizable portion of South Africa's population, especially the young, has defined his leadership. Through the EFF, the leader of the Red Berets, who is well known for his venomous speeches and divisive political positions, has in fact become a powerful force in South African politics. His party has seen tremendous growth and is now a powerful force in the political system of the nation. His capacity to inspire and connect with a sizable portion of South Africa's population, especially the young, has defined his leadership. On the other hand, the head of the ANC Youth League is still establishing himself in the political sphere. Although he has shown promise and a dedication to revitalizing the ANC's youth wing, he works under a set framework that often restricts the scope and pace of revolutionary transformation. With South Africa's changing political landscape, the ANC Youth League, which has long served as a training ground for the party's future leaders, has had difficulties. This contrast also captures the broader debate in South Africa about the legacy and efficacy of politics. As he serves out his term as head of the ANC Youth League, the leader must simultaneously revitalize the organization and emerge from the shadow of tall political personalities such as Malima. The discussion that the critics' comments generated serves as a reminder of the demanding and often tense nature of political leadership, as well as the high standards that are expected of people in the public eye. Though it remains to be seen whether the ANC Youth League president can rise to the challenge, the similarity emphasizes how difficult the path ahead will be. Once again, rumors of a possible alliance between the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, and the African National Congress, ANC, have been sharply refuted by Dr. Mbiaseni Ndlozi, the EFF's elections coordinator in Gauteng. Ndlozi recently compared worries about his party's ascent to power to those of the apartheid government before to South Africa's democratic transition. Ndlozi's comments coincide with an increase in conjecture and analysis on prospective coalitions formed after the election, especially if the political landscape becomes fractured. The EFF has continuously positioned itself as an alternative to the governing party. It is well known for its outspoken criticism of the ANC and its unwavering support for drastic economic change. Ndlozi rejected the idea of working with the ANC in his message, emphasizing the EFF's dedication to its goals and ideals. He said that concerns about an EFF-ANC partnership are baseless and overblown, drawing comparisons between them and the worries that the apartheid administration stoked during the democratic transition. Since its founding, the EFF has been a powerful force in South African politics, promoting causes including social justice reforms, nationalization of important companies, and land expropriation without compensation. Support and criticism have been directed at the party's unwavering position on these issues, with some seeing it as a radical break from the political status quo. The EFF views Ndlozi's parallel to the apartheid period as a danger to established power structures and special interests. Ndlozi aims to reassert the EFF status as a revolutionary force dedicated to tearing down current injustices and inequities by presenting the party's rise in this light. The EFF's unwavering rejection to consider coalition discussions with the ANC as South Africa's elections draw near highlights its resolve to forge its own path and provide voters with a unique option. It is unclear whether the voters will support the strategy, but Nlozi's firm position demonstrates the party's steadfast dedication to its core values and long-term goals.